Honey, it is a huge B. Okay, 50-50 split on this one. 1,236 of you moving on. 1,648 of you got out on this one. Make sure you stay in the game, you guys. Collect those bonus SB. You can only claim them after the game, all right? And they'll help you out in future games. Uh, before we get into the next question, fun fact about this B, I did a little research. It's the size of an adult thumb. So uh, let's hope I never cross paths with one of those guys. I wouldn't like that very much. All right. You guys still in? We've got one bonus SP for you on the next question. So here it is, Q5. Which car manufacturer was the first to include seatbelts as a standard feature in their vehicles? Ford, Saab, or Volvo? How about those days where you didn't have to wear your seatbelt and cars didn't even have to have them? It's terrifying to think about, but thanks to Saab, they became standard. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we have 258 people who are left in the game at this point. This is this is nuts. All right, I'm going to give you all a second to rejoin. We lost 1,114 of you on that one. So let's rejoin people. Most of you went with Volvo. I understand that. But yeah, it was Saab. Thanks to Saab for giving us the seatbelt. All right, so we've got those rejoins happening. A few of them still rolling in. If you got out, stay in for those bonus. Bonus SB, okay? All right, buckle up. Let's get into the next question. One bonus SB for you right now on Q6. Which European city is the headquarters for OPEC? Vienna, Paris, or Geneva? Thanks to the Organization for Petroleum Exporting Countries 1961 statute, the headquarters finds its home in the Austrian city of Vienna. All right, this one I like the results a lot better. 303 of you got this one right. 107 of you did not. That's okay. That's okay. I love Vienna. It's one of my favorite places that I've ever visited. It's a very clean city. The people are very nice, and they have vegan croissants in practically every cafe. So I was happy there. All right, everyone. We've got one bonus SP for you on question number seven. Which country has not fought in a war since 1814? Australia, Switzerland, or Sweden? Their last tilt was against Norway and ended with the signing of the Convention of Moss. Their amount of time neutrality even beats Switzerland. Sweden is the answer. 50-50 split. 153 of you knew the answer to this one. 162 of you did not. So I understand why so many of you went with Switzerland. That's what I would have guessed, but it was Sweden. I love a peaceful country. I love it. Yes, two peas. <laughs> All right, let's get into the next question. We have one bonus SV ready for you on question number eight. What was the name of Marcel Marceau's most famous character? Bap, Bip, or Bop? The man synonymous with mime performed for audiences thousands of times during his 60-year career, and they always loved seeing his clown character, Bip. All right, 164 of you knew this one. Seven of you did not. Okay, well, this deserves a celebration, and I feel like for that celebration, I just need to mime for you. So I'm in a box, and it's very tiny, and I'm scared. You're I don't... You're not supposed to talk when you're miming. Oh, okay. Let's move on. <laughs> one bonus is free for you on question... Number nine, everyone. Who is Israel's longest serving prime minister? Benjamin Netanyahu, David Ben Gurion, or Menachem Begin? This man is such a significant figure in modern Israeli history that the airport in Jerusalem is named for him. Serving for six years in total, I'm looking for David Ben Gurion. Oh my gosh, we have 25 people left in the game. Okay, we should we should have those rejoins. Let's get those rejoins. Come on, people, get back in the game. Get back in the game. Oh, this is insane because we still have, we have six more questions to answer today and only 34 people who are still in the game. This is absolutely nuts. If you got out, still play along for the bonus SB and claim them once we're done. You will be so thankful that you have those in a future game. All right, everyone, let's get into the next question. It's worth one bonus SB. Here it is, question number 10. According 
According to Greek mythology, what was the word Callisti inscribed on? Golden apple of discord, belt of Aphrodite, or lyre of Orpheus? Callistines to the prettiest one, and the object bearing its inscription caused quite the kerfuffle among the ancient Greek deities, so it makes sense that it was on the golden apple of discord. All right, 29 people still in the game. Five people got out on that one. So these are the types of results the Swag Queen likes to see because right now my hands are kind of sweaty because this, I mean, the stakes are just <laughs> really high. So, whoa, quite the, quite the kerfuffle here. I'm going to take a deep breath. And let's move on. One bonus SB for you on question number 11. Which rap star changed the name of his publishing company from Ghetto Gospel to Joshua's Dream? Kanye West, Tupac Shakur, or Biggie Smalls? After meeting Joshua, a dying boy whose wish was to meet him and spend time with him and taking him to a basketball game, Tupac Shakur renamed his company. All right, wow, 100% of you answered this one correctly. This is nuts. 29 of you are still moving on into Q12. How did you all know that? I, that's, I mean, wow. I was not expecting these results, but I love learning this about Tupac. It shows his sensitive side, and I like that. All right, next question. We've got one bonus SB. Here it is, Q12. The patron saint of women seeking refuge from abusive husbands was famous for her what? Sharp nails, horses, or beard? Saint Wilgefortis is the patron of relief from tribulations and her prayers to escape her own bad relationship were answered when she suddenly grew a full beard. All right, we have 23 of you moving on into Q13. So did you know there are patron saints for so many random and specific things? Like, for example, right now we have one watching over us, the patron saint of the internet. His name is Isidore of Seville, and he was born in the 7th century, so I guess you could say he was a real forward thinker. All right, next question. One bonus SB on Q13. In the first all-talking movie, what type of shop was a, shop was a front for bootlegging? Apothecary, soda shop? or barbershop? The jazz singer may have been the first talkie, but it wasn't the first all-talking movie. That was Lights of New York, in which bootleggers use a barbershop as a front. All right, 15 of you going on into our second to last question of today's game. Man, I love this. Also, there's a bar in L.A. where you have to enter through a barbershop. It's like a speakeasy, so it's kind of cool. I wonder if uh, it was inspired by the movie. Anyway, let's get into the next question. If you got out, we've got one bonus SB that you still want to collect. So let's get into it. Here it is, Q14. If Pepsi Cola returned to their original name, which celebrity would make the most sense as a spokesperson? Brad Pitt, George Clooney, or Jon Stewart? Before it was the number two brand of cola in the world, Pepsi was invented by Caleb Bradham, whose initial concoction was called Brad's Drink, which means Brad Pitt would be a good pitchman. Okay, we have nine people who have made it this far, and you nine people are ready for our final question. Alright, I had so much fun with this game today. This was the most exciting game I have ever hosted. So if you had fun playing this game, make sure you tell your friends all about it. Even if you got out on the last question or question 13, that is still worth bragging rights because this was a tough game. Make sure you post to social media with the hashtag SBLive and include your share link. If people sign up with it, you'll get a free rejoin. And trust me, those free rejoins will come in handy. We have $2,500 still left on the line for all you nine people who are still in the game. This is so crazy. I love it. Also, hey, GM car owners, are you listening? Did you know you could be making money by booking your car out for personal and commercial use? Try Maven through Swagbucks. Download the app today and you can make your car available to people in a safe, secure marketplace. You'll get 1500 SB when you list your car. You have to have a GM car and you have to be a US player to qualify. But if you want to earn some extra cash, get those bonus SB and help a person who doesn't have access to a vehicle 
check this out after the game. Make sure it's after the game because we have one more question to go until people are walking away with a piece of that $2,500 grand prize. And it's worth one bonus SB. The final question, everybody. Let's get into it. I am ready. Here it is. Q15. Until the final letter was added to the Roman alphabet, which name was impossible to spell? Zachary, Justin, or Maxwell? The alphabet may have a proper order, but that's not the order that the letters were added. The final letter added to our alphabet was the letter J, so we could finally spell Justin. Okay, we have eight people who knew that answer and are split in our grand prize. The eight people who won deserve a huge congratulations. You are all walking away with $312.50. Congratulations to Soraka, 8719453377, Devi Sun856, Jahi Gill, 50 Free Only, Dylan B. Shrake, M. Jinx, Kathy0503, and Hello World1235. $312.50. That's all going to you. That is insane. You are getting your prize in the form of points called SB, which you can redeem for PayPal cash or gift cards to Amazon, Starbucks, Target, and hundreds of other places. Thank you so much for playing Swagbucks Live with me today. That's it for the month of March. Join me on Monday for two new games. I'm hosting them. It's going to be exciting, and I can't wait. I'm Devin Howard, your Swag Queen, and I'll see you soon, everyone.